Hello, in this game engine setup video, we're going to be looking at implementing an input manager. The input manager will handle all of our input needs. For example, we'll provide a feature to be able to handle sprite click. So if we click on a sprite, we'll be able to detect when that has occurred. We'll be able to get the mouse position as well really easily. So this will be great to extend as well. So if you want more input you can just put it into this class and it'll be usable throughout your entire game and throughout all of your games so first of all we need to create some files so if you just do that in the normal way for your ide or your text editor again it's a c plus plus file also want a header file it's going to be called input manager and obviously just save that where everything else is and in here what we want to do is go to the header file and we want to just get rid of all the current code per hash pragma once then hash include we're going to include the sfml graphics.hpp library then we're going to do namespace sonar again it's just the same namespace that we're using for the rest of our game engine. This is going to have a class of input manager. It's going to have public methods only at the moment. We can change that and extend it as you need to. First method is going to be the constructor. This is going to be empty, so I'm just going to do an empty curly brace here. Now what we're going to do is have the destructor again this is also going to be empty so just going to have some empty curly braces first method is going to check if a sprite is clicked so is sprite clicked and for this we're going to do sf sprite object sf mouse button and that's going to be called a button and we also need to pass in the render window as well, like so. So we're passing in the actual sprite that we want to detect if it's being clicked, the actual type of mouse button that we de were detecting for, because it might be left click, it might be right click, and the actual window that these events and these items are on. The next method is going to be SF vector 2 i that's going to be the return type, and this is going to be the mouse position. So we'll easily be able to call this method and get the mouse position. We're going to do SF render window. We need to pass in the window because we need to be able to detect on the window where the mouse is positioned. So once you've done all that, you want to open up the CPP file. And in the CPP file, we're going to be implementing all of that right now. So first of all, just we can just get rid of all these comments, hash, pragma once and what's this asking ah sorry we don't need it in here we only need it in the header file I don't know why I'll put it there I'm gonna put namespace sonar again just make sure you use the same namespace now to actually save some time go to the header file copy and paste both of these methods into the sonar namespace just need to do input manager colon colon for both of these just need to get rid of the semicolon and put some curly braces and the same for this one as well so now what we're going to do is first detect if the mouse button is being pressed the one that we've asked for so sf mouse is button pressed and the button that we're going to pass in is just button that was passed into our function if it is we're going to check if well it's collided over the particular sprite so first of all we're going to create a interact which is just going to be a rectangle for our Oops, sorry my bad sorry about that so play button rect and this is going to be object don't get position you could actually call this whatever you want i just called it play button you could actually i think it's better if we just call this 
rect. I'm going to call it temp rect. And this is essentially going to be a temporary rect that we're going to be using for our object itself. So we're going to create one for our object and then see if it has, if it contains the mouse. So we need to get the position, the x value. Then we need to do object dot get position and we need the y value and now what we need to do is get the width and the height of the object aka the sprite to be able to create the rect around the sprite and for this we're going to do object dot get global bounds dot width then object dot get global bounds dot height now that that is done we can actually detect or check for any collision we'll just do that if temp rect dot contains so if we contain the particular vector and the vector we can just do sf mouse get position get the position on a particular window which is what we passed in if this is true then we would just return true otherwise outside of all of this if statement you'll hit this one return false which means this hasn't occurred this sprite isn't being clicked that's it for the is sprite click method for the actual get mouse position it's simple you just do return sf mouse get position window and that is it we're just going to quickly build it make sure we haven't got any errors we haven't fantastic so now we've implemented an input manager that's it for this video we'll continue in the next video with the game engine setup if you have any questions feel free to post them on my educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link available to that if you have any queries about the code and you want to check it out there'll be a link to github so feel free to take a look at that and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day